Hey guys, welcome back to How We Roll Cooks. Today we are making the authentic Jamaican oxtail. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and join the fam. So guys, my oxtail is already clean and now I'm going to add my chopped onion, my chopped scallion. I have grated ginger and chopped garlic here as well. And I'm going to pour all of that in to marinate. So we had this for dinner last last Sunday, so I seasoned from Saturday night. That way all the herbs and all the spices get to infuse in the meat. Now I am just going to go in with my powdered seasoning. I will leave an exact amount in the description box for you guys. But right here I'm just pouring. You know how we season already, we just pour until our ancestors tell us to stop. So I'm using two pounds of oxtail here, so I'm going to place the exact ingredients in the description box for you guys. So guys, now I'm done with the seasoning, I'm going to go in with my browning and I do this gradually because you don't want to put too much because it will taste, you will taste it on the meat. So that's what I'm doing right here and then I'm going to go in with some more if I'm not satisfied with the amount. Here I'm just showing off my apron that my daughter's got me for Mother's Day. Then I went in with two tablespoons of oil, I allow that to heat up and then I'm going to add my oxtail. So after adding my oxtail, I am going to allow this to sear on medium to high heat and I'm going to constantly stir it for about two minutes and then I'm just going to cover it and allow it to simmer on medium heat. guys because I have it covered it's as you can see it has produced its own liquid and it's there cooking with its own liquid I didn't have to add any water as yet and all the seasoning and herbs are being infused in the meat so that's what's happening here and I'm gonna allow this to continue for about 10 minutes before adding some water Now it's time to add the water and I'm going to add about three cups but if you guys are using a pressure cooker this is when you would pour it into your pressure cooker after the searing or braising process you would pour it into your pressure cooker and let it um, cook but I am going to do the long process where I cook it on top of the stove so this is going to take about two hours or hour and a half. 
so it's been two hours guys i'm gonna add my carrots you can add potatoes if you want it's the meat is almost at the tenderness that i want it so it needs just about 20 minutes more so i'm gonna give the carrot a 10 minutes head start and then after that i'm gonna add my beans So guys, I don't like to fight my food when I'm eating. I like when my meat is melting off the bone. And the next thing you want to check for is your sauce. Make sure that it have your desired thickness. If you like it thick, then you can go ahead and add some cornstarch. But if you use potato when you're cooking an oxtail, you don't have to add anything because the potatoes would have melted and give you that desired thick gravy that you love. So I'm going to show you guys the finished product in a minute so there you have it guys dinner is all done and it was so delicious and i top it off with some string beans and carrot for my sides so that's it guys if you like the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys